Today will be a day to remember for the youngster Jasper Stuyven. The Belgian from Team Track Factory started his professional career last year only. It's his second Vuelta in his second great race. A lot was expected from him since his junior world champion title in 2009, and today he rode to his first great victory. We should see the winner of the 2010 Junior Paris-Roubaix again quickly on Criterium races. No great difficulties on stage 8 of this Vuelta. The road slowly descends to Mercia and the beginning of this trek doesn't favor breakaways. The stage should be decided at the double ascent to L'Alto de la Cresta del Gallo. A short ascent, 6 km only, with an average slope of 6% that can go up to 15%. The narrow roads and the descent being the most tricky parts. The pack immediately sets a high pace and passes 50 km after an hour. Against the odds, six men manage to break off the peloton. Kreisi from Etix Quickstep attacks first, and Engoulvan from Europgar, Alex House from Cannondale, Van Asbroek from Jumbo Lotto, Cataneo from Lampre, and Madrazo Ruiz from Caja Rural follow him. They soon will have a lead of five minutes. The pack seems nervous, and it comes to a massive crash 50 kilometers before the finish line. TJ van Garderen, who couldn't finish the Tour de France this year, won't make it to Madrid either. He has to give up, just like Dan Martin from Cannondale and Nasser Buhani from Cofidis. On the first ascent to Cresto del Gallo, House breaks away from the escape group, but a crash on the descent crushes his hopes for a stage victory. 33 kilometers before the finish line, the last of the escapees, Madrazo, falls back into the peloton. But a few kilometers further, the pack falls apart again on the second ascent to the Cresta del Gallo. Brambilla from Etix Quickstep attacks first. Gonzalves from Casa Rujal and Rampres Durasek soon do the same. On the descent, three men, Gonzalves, Losada and Kenny Elizonde, manage to part company with the pack. But the escape ends three kilometers before the finish line, when they're swallowed by the Red Jersey group. Peter Sagan lost his hopes for victory after a crash 8 kilometers before the finish line and everything seems open. Adam Hansen attacks 2 kilometers before the end but he is taken shortly after. It's the Belgian Jasper Stuyven from Trek who rides the strongest finish and passes the finish line before Peyo Bilbao and Kevin Reza. Yeah, it was. Uh, it's already all week. Uh, nervous and some crashes left and right, and so far we we had uh, yeah we had some luck. But today we were all together in the crash. Also, our leader Frank was in there. He lost a lot of time, and uh, it's a pity that uh, yeah that's that's the uh, disadvantage of, of riding together. If you crash, uh, there's a big chance here uh, with all the team on the ground. And uh, yeah, we have uh, bad luck with Frank, but uh, I'm really happy to take the win today for the team and for myself. Nasser Buhani and Peter Sagan on the ground, several sprinters trapped in the double ascent, and the road was open for the domestics. Stoyven wins stage 8 before Bilbao, Reza and Visconti. The leaders arrive together today and nothing changes in the overall ranking. Chavez holds on to the red... Tomorrow, the Vuelta 2015 will offer the second high-altitude finish. Another first category summit that should cause some havoc amongst the leaders. The last ascent of the 168km stage to L'Alta de Puig with slopes up to 20% will be a rough test for the riders. And all that...